off to the gym to do 23.2. I'm not feeling good about this one. I am a heavier athlete. I'm 108 kilos, which is about 238 pounds. So running and pull-ups are hard for me. You should never let anyone tell you you need to lose weight in order to be able to do pull-ups. More coaches need to recognize that lots of people have eating disorders and there are loads of reasons why people can't lose weight, but you can still pursue pull-ups if that's you. You just need to get stronger. But the fact of the matter is being heavier does make it more difficult and that goes for running as well. But Thankfully, as a heavier girl, I'm gonna have quite a big advantage in the thruster. <laughs> and I have maxed out my thruster before, but that was back when I was like super skinny, starving myself and struggling with my eating disorder and I still managed to get 85 kilos. <laughs> so I'm hoping today I'll get around 90. So 90 kilos is about 198 pounds. So fingers crossed. It might not, it might not happen after all of those burpees and running, but we'll see. <laughs> so I think the plan is I'm gonna go really slow <laughs> on the burpees and thrusters situation. I've just checked the leaderboard and the lift I want to get is like 90, maybe 95. We don't know what that is in pounds, like 209. And at the moment that's about 20th on the leaderboard. So I'm thinking maybe go slow on the start bit and then just try and get within the top 50 in the world for the thruster. I think that would be so sick. <laughs> because let's be honest, in the open I'm not going to finish high. I'm probably going to be around like 40, 30,000. That's where I'm sitting at the moment. So <laughs> I may as well just try and get a really high score in one workout. I think that would be cool. <laughs> So already you can see the bar is a lot higher than my hands and this is the shortest bar that we had in the gym and we'd laid a few mats underneath it. There was no way I was going to be able to touch it. This made the kind of jumping style pull up impossible for me. So I knew the whole way through the workout I was going to have to do kipping pull ups and that, that was going to be slower and more difficult. But at the end of the day I'm just doing the open for fun and it doesn't really matter that much. It would have been nice to have a bar the right height but that wasn't a possibility. The shuttle runs I tried to take them super slow and you'll see that I'm asking my judge like how many laps I'd done. I didn't realise that I had to do like there and back and that that was one rep. I thought one rep was on the way up so I thought I only had to do five. I recounted them and I actually ended up doing 11 instead of 10 so I did a little bit extra there. <laughs> The pull-ups for me were really difficult, as difficult as I expected, but my gymnastics has come on a lot in the last year or so. This time last year, I wouldn't have been able to get through this many pull-ups. It was quite scary being between my two amazing coaches. They're absolutely incredible and very fit, and I am not right now. And what was really difficult for me mentally is I used to be as fit as they are now, and it's really hard going from being that fit to being so much less fit now. But I've been on a huge journey with my body image, with recovering from my eating disorder with accepting myself and not having to push myself to give absolutely everything in every single workout and that was definitely something I couldn't do when I was working full-time as a teacher that was really difficult for me to commit to and I could only train four days a week so obviously I lost a load of fitness and when we continued to work during lockdown and the gyms closed down and that really affected my mental health of course I was going to gain weight and lose all my fitness because I lost everything that was helping me stay fit and recovered and during lockdown we moved house as well and then even at home I didn't have access to any like gym equipment until we started to put stuff into the garage So I'm trying to have some self-compassion for myself in this whole journey of like losing my fitness I know a couple of years ago I would be really desperately disappointed with this result But actually I'm super proud of my result for part A I ended up just like chipping away and I tried harder than I meant to I know I said I wasn't gonna try but I tried <laughs> And I ended up getting to I finished the round of 20 pull ups and then did an extra shuttle run And gymnastics has always been something that I've struggled with and being able able to do that many reps at this current weight is a real testament to the amount of work that I put in and I'm super proud of that. I can't say I enjoyed this one, it was definitely not my jam and I preferred the like changing of movements in the first one. This felt boring honestly but I was really excited for the thruster. When we started on the thruster I opened at 75 kilos which is 165 pounds. I knew I'd be able to get that, I did that in the warm up and it felt super easy and then I made a big 10 kilo jump to 85 kilos which is 187 pounds in total and that was my current PB so that I was pretty certain I would be able to get that and I massively underestimated how hard it was gonna be after doing all of those pull-ups and burpees and it really took a lot out of my pressing strength especially because I had to kip the full pull-up and pressing out of those burpees and obviously my gymnastics capacity isn't amazing so it was gonna take more out of me than it would for other people after the 85 kilos I tried 90 kilos and I was almost certain I was gonna get this and I was so gutted when I didn't manage to press it out at the top and then the realization hit me that it was because of the previous workout and that I had very little time left to do it 
I put on an extra kilo because I figured if I was to manage to get it, it would put me up a couple more places. And I attempted 91 kilos twice. The first time I tried to do the cluster where you like squat clean into it and then press out. And then the second time I power cleaned it and then tried to go into the bottom and press out the top. But I just didn't have the capacity to press that weight after the previous workout, which is totally fine. That's CrossFit. And I spent such a long time focusing on weightlifting that I am so used to jerking and being able to like re-rack the positioning with my arms and then get it into a solid jerk and that's not something you can do with a thruster. Max thrusters isn't something that a lot of us practice so it was gonna be difficult. <laughs> Honestly what was I even thinking? Top 50? I got 85 kilos <laughs> which is that's not that's not even a PB that's that's equal to my PB before. I really massively underestimated how much those pull-ups and burpees were gonna take out of my overhead lockout. Um, <laughs> I probably would have been around the top 50 if I had got like 95 which is what I wanted which is 10 kilos more than I got but you don't know if you don't try and also part of it is probably because I actually did try in the first half <laughs> I got, I finished the round of 20 pull-ups, which means I did 50 pull-ups in total, which is quite a lot for me. Um, and I'm really happy with that score, actually. And although I didn't go, like, super fast, I was dying. It was difficult. I probably could have gone a little bit faster on the run and maybe done a couple more shuffle, shuttle runs. I'm actually way more happy with my score for part A than I am for part B. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Now, obviously, I didn't come top 50 in the world. <laughs> and I definitely underestimated the amount of people that could thrust her a hell of a lot more. I did do the same weight as Annie Thora's daughter though, which I'm so proud of. I just based that off um, the weights that were on the board at the time on Saturday when I did it. But I am in the top 20 in the UK, so I will take that. <laughs> I think the last time I checked, I was sitting at about 18. I submitted my score yesterday, which was Monday. So I don't think I will have moved from that. I don't know where I was in Europe, but my placing on the leaderboard has gone up quite quite a lot and that I'm sure is just because of the thruster. I reckon next week we're probably going to have some sort of handstand push-up, handstand walk or some overhead pressing movement and I'm not going to be very good at that and I'm okay with that. I have a feeling it'll either be a very short time domain one or a very long one. I think I'm going to err on the side of short because we've had a lot of like 15 minutes and I doubt they'd do something that's like 30 minutes but they might, you never know. <laughs> Let me know how you did in the comments below. Did you get your first ever burpee pull up? Did you get further than you expected? Did you PB your thruster? If you're interested to see the rest of my CrossFit journey, watch this video here next and I explain everything. Thank you for watching guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.